Today we're here at the Rainwater Sound Cistern here in the studio gardens and we're here to kind of see how it's been doing since it was built on the show back in 2012. If you remember, we started this out by excavating a hole that, and putting a liner down at the bottom. The bottom part of that liner was filled with some tubing and some sand that would serve as our cistern that would hold the water that comes off of the roof and down into the, into the rainwater sand cistern. Above that, we have some topsoil so that our vegetation will grow, and we had some sand columns to allow the water to go down into the system. Well, we've been utilizing this for a few years now, and what we found is that it holds water very well. Um, as long as you keep using it, um, it's going to continue to be useful and to function. What we have found, however, is that although we designed it for 1,000 gallons, the most we've been able to get out of it at one time is about 400 gallons. That's because the capillary forces that occur down in that sand. Basically, just like you have water in a straw that has capillary attraction to it, the water that's down there in those sand particles wants to stay in the sand particles. So we could pump it at a very low rate like what we would use for drip irrigation and get about 400 gallons out of it. Let it sit for a day and we could come back and get two or three hundred gallons more out of it and so on and so forth. But if we wanted to get all of that out of there at one time, we wouldn't be able to do that. So what we, need, what we want to recommend now is that if you need to have something that you can get a thousand gallons out of at one time, you need to oversize it to account for some of those forces that are holding that water within that sand. So if you're thinking about putting in a rainwater sand cistern, you might want to take some of those things into account. And if you'd like to build one for yourself, we have a YouTube playlist available online where you can learn how to put these together. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.